Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lily brings down the hammer on Daniel, and Ashley's family prepares to confront her. In a young and restless preview for the week of April 8th to 12th, Jordan probably won't be able to resist what's coming. Read on for more information, then watch the video below. Lily was understandably devastated to find that Daniel and Heather had rekindled their romance while she was away. Daniel tried to explain the situation to her, and it wasn't like they planned for it to happen, while Heather was concerned about her future work at Chancellor Winters. Lily conceded to Devon that Heather was good at her job, but what to do with Daniel's Omega Sphere project, which did make them money. Next week, Lily exacts her retribution. She tells Daniel, Lucy forgives you, Heather is back in your bed, Princess Louisa accomplished its function, and now it's just another game. And I own it. Ashley proceeded to collapse completely last week, with one of her personas once again attempting to kidnap Tucker away from Audra. Even Audra noticed what Tucker was saying, Ashley was in serious mental problems. Ashley later snapped, questioning why she was at the GCAC, and then unable to explain her absence to Tracy. Ashley's family will gather this week, concerned for her well-being. Jack, with Diane beside him, asks, So, we're waiting for Ashley, correct? I mean, she is the theme, right? Tracy responds, I am scared to death for Ashley. Finally, dressed to the nines, Nikki tells Victor, It's been 40 amazing, complicated, exciting years since we married. Nobody can spoil this night for us. They kiss. They have no notion Jordan is disguised as a guy, but they are aware that she exists. Will they be prepared to ultimately take her down, as she is unlikely to give up striking on Victor and Nikki's anniversary? Horror, Nictor's anniversary nightmare, plus, the scenes that left us shouting at the TV. The young and restless is ramping up to another battle between crazy Aunt Jordan and the Newman family, which remains the most fascinating thing on the screen. We're in tremendous trouble if this is Jordan's last stand. Here's an overview of what's going on and what's coming up. Connor's Crisis I've criticized this pop-up mental health crisis of the month storyline in previous posts, but the performance made it worthwhile to watch this week. Melissa Claire Egan's emotionally distraught Chelsea, Mark Grossman's tormented Adam, Judah Mackey's struggling little Connor and Courtney Hope and Jason Thompson as significant others slash supporters Sally and Billy, they're all killing it. Adam and Chelsea's realization that they had contributed to Connor's problems was terrible to witness. Adam Sally YNR The Scenes That Left Us Shouting at the TV, Part 1 Just when Ashley's mental health issue has devolved into complete disaster, Jack has decided it's time to put on his obstinate SOB hat and step down. The man has been up in his sister's business non-stop since Tucker McCall returned to Genoa City, but he's now so busy playing savior to Nikki that he can't even make time to hear Tracy out, let alone realize that something is very, very wrong with his sibling. This obstinate, can't see what's right in front of him version of Jack is by far the most irritating. The scenes that left us shouting at the TV, part 2. Speaking of brothers who are too preoccupied to see their sister is in jeopardy, Billy is back to being a blowhard. He's too busy pontificating about his master plan for Chancellor Winters to notice Ashley's problem. Adding insult to injury, he has plenty of time to critique Adam's handling of his son's issue, but his children have a new brother who attempted to murder the Newmans, and we have yet to see him follow up with Victoria. Anyway, the scenes that made us yell at the television were Billy's too extended talk with Lily regarding the future of Chancellor Winters. Any hope the writers had of making me care about who is in what position at this company, or any organization, has long been smashed by the continuously spinning musical jobs carousel. Loudspeaker we don't care. In related news, I believe there will be a war over Princess Louisa. This will bring out the new Lily, who tells Daniel straight out in the preview that she owns it. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lily hit the sack with Nick Newman. While it's unlikely that it would end any better for her than her previous relationships, I'd anticipate the long-lost Sharon to return, eager to claim her ex for herself, they could be the hot, exciting pairing we need right now. Lily Nick Y and R 
The Scenes That Left Us Shouting at the TV, Part 3 Tucker's proposal to Audra was a complete knee-jerk reaction to everything that was, or was not, going on in his life. Ashley's situation is a mess, but he's forced to push her away to placate his fiancé, and Devin still won't talk to him. While we weren't precisely outraged by Devin's rejection of Tucker as a father, it seems cruel to keep him away from Dom after enabling him to build a bond with the youngster. He may have been a bad father, but he was an excellent grandfather. The portion that really made us want to shout was Tadra, the extended version. When we weren't looking, Tucker and Audra became front-page news for the authors. Do they really think we're so invested in these two that we'd want to spend half an episode talking about their relationship? Tucker has been a disappointment as a returning character due to the writing, and Audra is intriguing on her own, but they keep writing her in circles around McCall. The extra screen time for these two is particularly obnoxious, given that essential characters such as Sharon are missing, and we have yet to see Victoria's children meet their new sibling. Priorities Bits and Pieces How strange to watch Phyllis rant about Lily seeking retaliation for Daniel and Heather's adultery when she had just pulled the fire alarm to exact revenge on Danny for picking cricket. Claire and Mariah's comparable situations led to a pleasant meeting. When Victoria suggested they relocate inside the tack house, I informed her, I told you so. I don't see Cole and Victoria as a long-term romance, but it could be a low-key dalliance to help her recover from the drama of Ashland and Nate. Nictor's Nightmare We knew Young and Restless was laying the stage for the next battle between the Newmans and Claire's eccentric aunt as soon as we heard about the anniversary party. In fact, the last speaker predicted that it might be Jordan's final stand. With Nikki off the wagon, nothing is off the table, including murder. Nikki informed Victor in the preview, no one can spoil this night for us. A reliable sign on a soap opera that someone is going to completely wreck the event. Nikki Victor Y and R. Meanwhile, hints point to Jordan having an accomplice, so in addition to the horrors of the showdown, the party could have a startling reveal. Find out who might be assisting Jordan here. Claire's Love Triangle torn between Kyle and, spoiler. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Claire Grace, Haley Aaron, has made a connection with Kyle Abbott. Although nothing romantic has transpired yet, it certainly appears that it will. Claire meets Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd. Could Summer discover Claire is a larger problem than her past? Will Claire wind up in a love triangle with Kyle and Chance? How will this influence Claire and Summer's relationship? The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Claire Grace's Reintroduction According to YNR Spoilers, many individuals in Genoa City met Claire when she started working for Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott. The Young and Restless, Claire's Love Triangle, Torn Between Kyle and, Spoiler Claire has now been revealed to be Eve Howard, the dead daughter of Cole Howard, J. Eddie Peck, and Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinley. Victoria, Cole, Nikki and Victor Newman, Eric Braden, all offer Claire their support. People are starting to realize that Claire, the attempted killer, is the same as Cole and Victoria's instant child. Claire has met with several persons linked with the Newman family. Some have been courteous and inviting. Others are cautious yet polite. Some believe Claire will simply try to hurt the Newman family again. Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, is one of the latter. YNR Spoilers, Kyle Abbott's Empathy In a recent episode, Kyle and Claire had a conversation. Even though Kyle was not in the best of spirits, he appeared to connect with Claire. In fact, many fans believe Kyle and Claire will become romantically involved. We're not sure how excited Summer will be with this, though. Summer is already concerned about Claire, notably Harrison Abbott, Kellen Enriquez. The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Meeting Chance Chancellor According to previews on The Young and the Restless, Chance appeared during Claire and Summer's tense conversation. Summer introduced Claire and Chance. Chance was cordial, and Claire noted Nikki, calling him a hero. While Claire and Chance only met for a moment, may they meet again later?